Hi, I'm Dr. Niberto Moreno. I'm a cardiovascular surgeon in the greater Miami area, the chief of surgery of one of the major hospitals in the city of Miami. And I'm here just to chat with you a little bit about the new study that came out in the New England Journal of Medicine comparing coronary bypass surgery and its results versus coronary angioplasty or stenting of the coronary arteries in patients who have more than two or three vessels involved in their coronary disease. As you know, uh, we are advancing in medicine every day and we want to use the best evidence-based medicine in order to give the public the best therapies that are available for them. Two things are very, very true. Number one is that people want less invasive techniques for the treatment of their therapies. And the second thing is that when used appropriately, coronary stenting is an excellent procedure. Now, what the study in the New England Journal of Medicine confirms is that when you exceed those indications or use off-label use of drug-eluting stentings, the result might not be as good. Let me give you an example. We know for a fact that since 19, the mid-1980s and studies in 1994 that coronary artery disease treated with medicine versus coronary artery disease treated with surgery in patients with two-vessel disease where the arteries involved aren't the main arteries the results are no different in either in either group now if you take that and compare coronary bypass surgery with medical therapy on patients who have severe three vessel disease or disease of the left main artery of the heart the results with surgery are much improved some of the data that has been used for angioplasty has been used in studies that have included mostly patients who fit the category where there was no benefit between the two um, uh, groups of patients. What the study now shows is that in patients that have or in patients that were shown to have significant improvement, those patients that had three vessel disease, all the arteries of the heart were blocked or the left main coronary artery was blocked. And in patients who had significant symptoms or in patients who had changes in their electrocardiogram on a stress test and in patients who had heart functions that weren't normal, that were decreased secondary to the coronary disease, surgery has had better long-term results. And what I mean by that is that there's less chance of having a myocardial infarction, that there's less chance of having a re-intervention and that there's less chance, in, at least in this particular study, of death within two years. Now that's very significant. Each patient needs to be treated individually, and each patient needs to be able to make a choice. But the physician has to explain to each patient exactly what the choices are. And I think that studies like this in the New England Journal of Medicine make it very nice and easy for physicians to take positions on what is the best modality of therapy given to their patients. Thank you very much.